Alright, morning guys, YouTube people everywhere. Gonna go for a drive. Gonna go to the Schwat meet. And I'm just gonna check out the MPGs. I have to go pick up a uh, reason I'm going to swap meet and going into town is because this is from the rebuilt engine in the garage, but um, I need this fitting here um, for this truck. It's leaking. So I'll show you guys when I get home if I can find the part. But yeah, it's it's been leaking, I guess, for a while. Every, every morning I'd pull up to work and I'd smell coolant. And, uh, yeah, it smelled coolant, and I didn't know where it was coming from, so that little fitting sits behind the EGR cooler, goes into the, taps into the block, the top of the block, between the valve cooler and the EGR cooler. Um, so anyway, you can see right there, um... How many miles? Average 12 point, or 11.2 miles per gallon. So we're going to go drive and see if we can't get that a little bit better. Or a, a lot a bit better. Um, keep in mind, I don't have my uh, intake elbow. And I do not have a air intake um, like a Banks Ram air intake, the filter assembly filter kit. So I don't have that. So I've been trying to look for one of those. Um, I really want to stick with the Banks one. If I could, it'd be a lot better. I don't know. I like the Banks product. So anyway, just going to go for a quick little drive. It's about, I don't know. To go to the swap meet and part stores about 30 miles round trip and I'll just do normal driving that I normally drive to work so anyway um, yeah pretty much it I have to get some uh, I kind of want to do a, a transfer case flush um, but yeah anyway I'll see if I can get some of that fluid. Maybe I'll go after work to Dodge and get some transfer case fluid. But, I don't know what the noise is. I just air actually working. So, by the way, guys, uh, it's making like a grinding noise, but it's not while I'm driving, it's while I'm sitting. Um, it's probably just airflow. I used to the airflow through the exhaust and everything. So anyway, we'll get back. Uh oh, we're already dropping down 11.1. So let me get some miles in. After I get from the dump from the parts store and everything, I'll come back and uh, I'll video and see what we got. All right, guys. So. Went to the Swami, went and got some parts, and went about, I don't even know, I'll have to check, but probably about 12 miles, 15 miles, and just cruising, and I'm getting about 16.6, 16.5, I don't know if you can see that or not, um, 16.7. Cruising, my speedometer is off, so I'm doing about 55, 60. I don't know why the sun is so glaring. So this is normally how I drive. Uh, anyway, so I gotta go home, install the EGT, and while I'm back there, I'll probably install. Uh, gotta install that programmer deal whatever it is that sends the pyrometer information to the tuner and then I bought ended up buying some hose and stuff uh, a little elbow hose so I can replace that fitting um, I'm just gonna put a hose and some clamps on it and 
instead of having that pressure fitting. Um, just seems like that's going to be a better fix in the long run, I guess. So, because nobody has the part and nobody knows if the part will work. Um, and they want me to order it. And it's like 18 bucks. So, I'm not going to do it. So, I'm just cruising. Cruising through little Tijuana. Because I'll see where I go, where I drive through. It's the 138 Blood Highway, as they call it. So, I call it Little Tijuana. It's called Little Rock, California. All one word, Little Rock. Look at the Ram. Nice little Fourth Gen with a toy holla. There's another uh, Fourth Gen ahead of me. But Mega Cab, but I'm not going to try to keep up with him. So, uh, look at that. Get you guys in there. 18.4, 18.5, cruising through the little town. So, anyway, um, yeah, I'll go home and I'll show you guys that hose fitting adapter deal. So, I'll see you guys at home. Alright, guys, so I haven't really watched my other videos, but we got this piece leaking. Stinking Lincoln. So, I always smell coolant every time I get to work. I think I've said that a million times already. So, um, what I got in store for that is I'm going to stick this hose over that piece. Hose clamp it. And then uh, probably use this here to clamp it. I bought these because they were actually I don't know how much they were. Um about three quarter inch hose, five feet at that. Um wow, these were 16 bucks. Maybe I'll bring these back. Yeah, 16 bucks. I think mm, I don't know because I got a point. Maybe I'll just keep them. So anyway, um, I'm going to let it cool and what I'm going to install, uh, yeah, get to it. Got to install this for the EGT. I just got to look up how to install it, I don't remember. It says power. So supposedly, I thought this was the power, but apparently this is the power. I don't know. I'm gonna look it up. Gotta hide it somewhere, tuck it in somewhere, run some wires somewhere, do some more somewhere. So, anyway, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna wait for it to cool down and then uh, fix that back there. So if you're interested in this part number for this hose is 70,001. Seven triple zero one from good old AutoZone and then I'll probably be using this part number H58 I guess so 58 heater hose connector 16 millimeter then I bought three quarter inch hose because that's what I use for my PCV breather crankcase breather and uh, I just dump it down here somewhere it's right there I didn't have a long enough piece so I'm gonna run it so that it's down in here like my old truck so anyway I'm gonna get all that done um, and then I'll show you guys what I did because I'm boring all right guys be back all right guys just like that that piece is done so, if you're having issues with your heater hose, comes from your heater core back in there to here. I just took a 90 5 8 inch hose, 
the 5 8 inch buck connector I guess you can call it took that off and did all that I was waiting for the truck to cool down installed that I don't know station service station whatever it's called the bully dog whatever for the EGTs you could do trans cooler or sorry not trans cooler trans temp you can do a bunch of different temperature deals off that and I got it all wired in and uh, yeah it's completely in like Flynn so that's pretty much it that's uh pretty much all I'm gonna do today over it I'm over today already so what I ended up doing is I ended up cutting some of that hose off the hose that was on there you can see this is the top of the hose top of the engine whatever it's called engine top so that goes it goes like this right here off this connector so you can see this one's broken um really isn't there's just an o-ring inside there i'm assuming um that probably just went bad so i know i got a big mess up here but so here it is it's not cracked or nothing it's probably still usable um, it's just whatever o-ring that was in there is is pretty bad maybe I'll try to fish it out and stick it on this engine just in case somebody wants to buy this engine or not so maybe I'll fish this o-ring out so anyway guys that's gonna be it uh, yeah the hose part number if I remember right is seven zero 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 one so seven thousand one or seventy thousand one that's the hose deco hose made in good old America and this is the five eighths inch heater hose connector H five eight I'm assuming five eight means five eighths so um, and then I did a three-quarter inch hose. I ran it down for my crank case ventilation breather. So as you can see, goes there, goes all the way down. And then I just have it tucked into right there. So all that leaking is water. I poured water, hot water, hot soapy water in there. So now I'll probably add. I'll probably have to add some coolant and uh, run it. So, alright guys, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. Um, that's it. Uh, alright guys, thanks for watching. Later.